So all the Home Assistant users will gonna love this video for sure as in this video I'm gonna let you know how you can control your Home Assistant based devices through your voice and no not with Alexa or Google Voice Assistant rather with your own made voice assistant. Yes that's possible with the help of this re-speaker light from Seed Studio. Let me show you a quick demo. Hey Jarvis, switch on all lights. Turned on all of the lights. So ReSpeaker is basically a smart voice assistant development kit that integrates high performance voice processing capabilities and we also get the power of ESP32 S3 on board. So basically this is a very powerful board for audio based applications and if I'd like to know the detailed specifications of it then for the audio processing they have used the XMOS XU316 core processor which is dedicatedly made for audio related applications and it got some amazing features like it supports dual PDM microphone. It got built-in interference canceller or IC. It has a caustic echo cancellation or AEC. It got noise suppression. And also it got automatic gain controller or we can say AGC. And with all these amazing features, we can get the far field voice recognition even in the noisy environment. And here on board, we also get the support of ESP32 S3 chipset, which is communicating with our audio processor via I2C and I2S protocol. And as it is an ESP32 chipset, we get the built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. And with this, we can make some really interesting internet controlled audio based projects. Later on the PCB board, we get a dedicated mute button button, a user defined button, a RGB LED for status indicator and then for the audio output we get a JST connector for connecting speaker and a 3.5 mm audio jack as well. Then here we have a USB Type-C port dedicatedly for audio processor and couple of GPIOs of both audio processor and the Shao board are exposed here. So that was the complete PCB overview and the specifications of this re-speaker light. Well here I really like the black masking on the PCB, it really looks very cool and as we are talking about the PCB, it reminds me of the sponsor of today's video. So let's hear from our sponsors first. So this video is sponsored by LTM and we are all familiar with the secure collaborative design platform LTM 365. But let me tell you one of its really interesting features. So with the integration of Silicon Expert, now you can visualize all the important parameters of the components all in one place. Let me show you a quick demo. In LTM 365, just go to the manufacturing part search option. Here, you can search for any component you want to use. Just click on get data from Silicon Expert and it will pull all the crucial parameters of the components in one place. Below that, you'll also see a suggestions for alternative components along with the ratings on how well each one suits a direct replacement. Pretty interesting, right? And now if you're a student from India, well, LTM has launched LTM Student Lab where you can sign up with your university email ID to get access to LTM 365 online courses and can even get certification directly from LTM. And this will definitely help your resume to stand out and will give you a great boost in your design career. Well, I'll be linking away all the important links down to the description, so be sure to check them out. Okay, so coming back to our video, and now let me guide you how to integrate re-speaker light with Home Assistant. But before that, let me show you my existing Home Assistant setup. So here I'm running the Home Assistant on my Raspberry Pi 4 device, and it already had the ESP Home add-on built in, through which I'm able to control the appliances in my studio, and it's controlled via ESP32 board. Now on my channel, I already made a video about how to add the ESP Home add-on into the Home Assistant to control our home appliances with the ESP32 board. So I'll be attaching the link of that video down in the description of this video. So do check that out and follow all those steps if you haven't integrated the ESP Home yet. So after you have integrated the ESP Home with your Home Assistant, now it's the time to integrate the re-speaker in it. So let me show you the steps for doing that. Okay, so this is my current home assistant setup and now what I'll do is I'll go to the settings and here I'll go to add-ons and here we need to install three add-ons. For that we'll go to add-on store and here let's search for the add-on first is whisper which will be used for converting our speech to text. It's basically using the open AI APIs and here I'll just install this. After installing just click on the start button and now you can go back and just add another add-on which is Piper Okay, it is used for converting our text into speech. So we'll install this as well in our home assistant setup After installing the Piper we'll again start this add-on and then we'll go back and install the last add-on which is open wake word which is this one here again we'll install so this open wake word add-on will help us to add the wake up commands to our re-speaker 
and after installing this open wake word we'll turn on this watchdog and click on the start button and with this we have successfully installed all the three add-ons required for a re-speaker light and now we have to configure it for that we'll go to settings into device and services and just configure each of the add-on one by one it's pretty simple just click on the configure button and click on the submit button that's it and do for this as well and we are done with the configuration as well and now after this add-on we need to add the voice assistant to our home assistant setup for that we'll go into the settings and here we'll go inside the voice assistants and here we'll click on add assistant here we can give the assistant a name i will name it as uh, my assistant you can give any name that you want okay letter here will keep it as home assistant for speech to text we are using the whisper apis for text to speech we are using the piper uh, add-on we can say and here uh, the cool part is we can select the different voices that we want for our text to speech and you can check out the voices as well just click on try voice and click on the play button hello how can i assist and that's how you can test out different different voices like this select a different one uh this one hello how can i assist okay this sounds like a jarvis so i'll keep it uh this one for my uh, test model you can choose any one any of the voice that you want later for the wake word we will select the, the open wake word uh add-on and here we can select the uh, four or five different wake up commands alexa hey jarvis hey mycroft hey recipe and okay nabu for this demo i'll be selecting hey jarvis okay let's click on the create button and with this we have successfully created the voice assistant for it and now the next step is we need to add this re-speaker into the esp home for that we can go to the esp home and here click on new device here click on continue give this device a name i will name it as a re-speaker okay click on next and the uh, device is ESP32 S3 as on re-speaker light we have the Shao ESP32 S3 so I'll select this and click on the skip button here after that we'll go inside the edit button and now here we need to provide a YAML file which you can get it from this wiki page of Seed Studio I'll be attaching its link in the description you just need to copy this file and just paste it here and now inside this file we just need to provide the necessary name and password of our wi-fi router because this will require uh, the internet connectivity after that just click on the save button and here click on install button now this time we need to select the manual download option select this so this will compile this complete yml file and give us a dot bin or we can say the binary file and this will take a couple of minutes so let us just skip this part of video one eternity later so after a couple of minutes you'll get this window and here we need to select the factory format version and it will download the esp32 s3 dot factory dot bin file i'll click on the keep button and it will be downloaded in our system later you need to go to this page which is web.esphome.io and here uh, make sure your device that the speaker light is already connected with the computer and here i'm using the google chrome browser so i'll recommend that only and here we'll click on the connect button and here just select the com port of our shao esp32 s3 connected with our speaker and after that just click on the install button here click on choose file and just choose the file which you have just downloaded and finally click on the install button and configuration install now let's go back to our home assistant page click on close and here if i close this window as you can see the re-speaker v3 is now online means this uh, the configurations are successfully installed and also it is connected with the internet and now we need to do one more last step for that you can go to the settings option uh, go to device and services and go to esp home here as you can see the re-speaker v3 appears so just click on the configure button and click on submit click on finish and let it to add the re-speaker in our dashboard we can go to the de uh, devices here we'll go to the re-speaker so we'll add this assist in progress into the dashboard and now why i'll let you know soon click on next and uh, click on add to dashboard that's it now we can go to the dashboard and here as you can see we got the re-speaker v3 assist in progress and with this we are done with all these steps and now let me show you if this works or not so i will say the wake up command and uh, it should be recognized by our re-speaker let us uh, try it out Hey Jarvis, as you can see it was recognized and it is uh, assist in progress is turned on that means the wake up command was successfully recognized and now uh, the device is listening to our voice commands. So everything is successfully configured, installed and working as well. So now let me show you a demo of controlling the lights, the appliances in my studio with the help of our own made voice assistant using the re-speaker light. So first let me show you by controlling all the appliances individually. Hey Jarvis. 
Switch on the first light. Turn down the light. And likewise, you can control all the devices individually, and you can also uh, control them together as well. Just like Hey Jarvis, switch on all the lights. As you can see, all the four lights got turned on, and we can also control the fan as well. Let me show you the demo. Hey Jarvis, switch on the fan. And as you can see, the fan got turned on, and that's how we can easily control all the home assistant based appliances through our voice with our own made voice assistant with the help of the Seat Studio Respeaker Light. Okay, so that's how you can easily integrate the Respeaker Light with your home assistant and can control the appliances with your own made voice assistant. Isn't that a super cool device? And also, let me tell you, the Respeaker Light is not just made for home assistant, rather, you can also program it with the Arduino IDE and can make some amazing projects out of it. Now, Seat Studio already made the detailed blogs about how to use the Respeaker Light with the help of Arduino IDE and it's already uploaded into their wiki page. I'll be attaching the link of that as well in the description so you can check that out and also i'll be leaving away the purchase link of this product in case if you're really interested in getting one for yourself and what do you think will you be using this for controlling the home assistant based appliances through your voice or you'll be still sticking up with the existing or the traditional uh, voice assistants what do you think share your thoughts down in the comments of the video and let's have an interesting conversation down and yeah that being said now i'm sending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me techie sms